Hello everyone, this is 13 MCQ. So in the stem of MCQ, a 3 months old infant admitted in the PICU with the severe anemia. In general physical examination, infant had triphalangeal thumb. In peripheral blood film, RBC are macrocytic, but there is no hypersegmentation of neutrophil. The reticulocyte counts are lower than normal, so reticulocytopenia was there. RBC AD activity is increased. So what will be the diagnosis? So go one by one. So A option is transient erythroblastopenia of childhood. It can also present at the age of three months. But in this, this congenital malformation of limbs not present. RBC are normocytic in TEC and reticulocytopenia also present in the transient erythroblastopenia of childhood. RBC activity, RBC AD activity remains normal in TEC. So this option is ruled out. Now the megaloblastic anemia. It is very rare in a three months old baby. This congenital malformation is also not supporting the megaloblastic anemia but can be coincidental finding with this. RBC are macrocytic in megaloblastic anemia also because it is macrocytic anemia. But hypersegmentation of neutrophil generally present in the megaloblastic anemia so there is no hypersegmentation. And RBC AD activity is also normal in megaloblastic. So this option is again ruled out. Now the physiological anemia of infancy. A MCQ I have already uploaded. Previous one, 12th MCQ. So physiological anemia of infancy is normocytic anemia. So again it is ruled out. Now the last option is D. Diamond black pan anemia in which congenital malformation of limbs can be there. It is macrocytic. And no hypersegmentation of neutrophil is there. It is characteristic of diamond black one anemia. Reticulocytopenia is there. It is again in diamond black one. RBC AD activity is increased in the diamond black one. So the right answer is D. So whenever there is a macrocytic anemia, MCV more than 100 pentaliter with low reticulocyte count, go for the PS expert. If PS expert is showing the hypersegmented neutrophil, then it can be due to either folate or B12 deficiency or orotic aciduria. If hypersegmented neutrophils are absent, then it is congenital aplastic anemia. It can be diamond black fan or fanconi or Pearson Mero pancreas syndrome. So in macrocytic anemia, if it is megaloblastic because of B12 and folate deficiency, these hypersegmented neutrophils always present. So more than 5 lobes in the neutrophil we label as a hypersegmented neutrophil. And these are the macroovelocytes because of B12 and folate deficiency. In diamond black one anemia, it is the congenital hypoplastic anemia. In 90% cases present in first year of life, mostly between 2 to 6 months of age. So, during this age group, we should also keep in mind diamond black fan anemia as a differential diagnosis. Etiology, it is sporadic in some of the cases and sometimes it is inherited due to the mutation in DBA1 gene for the ribosomal protein S19 on chromosome. 19q13 in more than 50 percent case they are having the congenital anomalies including short stature craniofacial dimorphism or defect of upper extremities including triphalangeal thumb syndactyly all can be present in 50 percent cases in investigation it is macrocytic anemia so mcv more than 100 femtoliter reticulocyte counts decreased hemoglobin f concentration is increased with the dba and increased rbc ada activity 
when you will go for bone marrow examination it will show the markedly reduced rbc precursor and other element of the bone marrow are normal in transient erythroblastopenia of childhood it is the most common acquired red cell aplasia commonly seen in 6 to 36 month of age but it can be present in 3 to 6 month age also often follow the viral infection it is a transient condition reticulocyte counts and bone marrow erythroid precursor are markedly reduced platelets remain normal mcv hemoglobin f normal so it is normocytic anemia rbc ad activity is also normal for further learning you can watch the video on approach to a case of anemia on this youtube channel thank you so much